and a bit of national unity, which I lost. Here we go, generous welfare question. So people have uh, complained about these events that pop up, which basically ask you, you either have to spend political power to maintain uh, policing or, or, well, any of these laws, basically. Or you can get some political power to reduce them. Uh, people have complained about them popping up, uh, a few people anyway, um, because they're, they're, they kind of just make you spend points to maintain what you want, but the reason they're there is because uh, there's a chance that you're going to minus political power and you can't get out of any of these. And so they're like a way out, basically. Um, you know, and they make you stick by your uh, decisions. So I think they're acceptable evil. Um, for now, attack, attack while he's weak. Oh, this isn't uh, mountains, is it? This is just, uh, what are you, hills? No, you desert. Okay, that's even better. So actually, we're kind of, we're on the hills, except for this, this guy's on a hill as well. Bastard. Well, that's, that's just desert. Looks like, uh, looks like mountain to me. Looks like mountain to me, buddy. Yeah, we were on the mountain now, so we should... This is all downhill from here, literally. Let's go. Go, go, go. I'm not even pushing forward. That's the <laughs> worst this is. Like. Yeah. Well, you know, since I'm a modder, uh, I don't actually need to be able to play the game. I just need to be able to do things in it. Ah, oh, na national unity bonus and loads of political power. Yes, please. Communism's the best. Let's go. That's too much reduction. Uh, I could always do this. Uh, jingoism, which increases my national unity over time, as well as a small boost. So if I have it uh, for a long time, I'll become invincible. Let's do division organization. I like that one, even though I don't know exactly what the effect is. <laughs> I like... Uh, I like it better than just brute brute force. I have nothing. And the new changes mean that it might not be producing very much at all, but... Uh. Give me some steel. Steel. I don't have that many factories, though. To steal some steel from you. Let's do it, I guess. Why not? It's one factory and it helps a little bit. Sort of. Sort of. I don't have that much. I'm literally on the edge of my equipment. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Death to fascists, you bloody bastards. Apparently, when asked the question whether it's okay to punch a Nazi in the face, we answer yes. Yes, it's okay. It's fine. Which is a reference to a newspaper headline, I think. Of recent years. So, there you go. Topical. Topical commentary. Um, are we going to make... It? I mean, we've got a, co a few months, right? We could do this in a few months, and we could be home in time for invading Iraq. Poor Iraq. Well, they, I mean, they've gone fascist, so, you know, whatever. Just fuck them. And then, what about Saudi Arabia? What were you doing? Are you democratic? You suck. Ah, oh, Republic of Turkey, they've gone democratic. Okay, so they're going to join the Allies, which means they're, like, off, off limits. Don't touch them. They've got friends. British Raj. And Japan is, uh... Japan. Um, they've really spread out. I mean, this looks like a stretch to me. Hungary joined the Axis. Okay, please don't start inviting everyone. Go, Romania, go. Now we're hitting the mountains, except there's a little mountain. No, there are mountains still. Fuck. It's on its desert. It's just covered in snow. <laughs> That's cool. Snowy deserts. Is it just like grayscale, or is it actually like a different piece of art? I guess it's uh, actually snow. So let's uh, let's just hot tail it straight to Kabul. 
even though they have a lot of national immunity. More than me. But I have labor programs, which makes people really happy. Have I spelled that wrong? Is that wrong? Is that wrong of me? I don't know. Someone sent me a PM about that once, but I can't remember if I fixed it. Apparently I couldn't spell British English. Uh, what's next? What do I want? Entrenchment. It's okay. Artillery. I don't have any of this stuff. What, do you, what is artillery? Uh, let's do let's do the next one of these. No, let's not, because there's a shitload of national unity reduction. Err. I want it. I want it. Can't do war yet. Still 38%. Good God. Please. Hitler will be invading people soon. It's only 38%. Mark my words. Corruption. Let's definitely let's root it out. Why not? Perfect. Oh, oh, yes, perfect. I'm gonna go up to partial mobilization, mobilization, and uh, yeah, gives me a little booster. In oh, look at that! Eleven factories. Where? How are you? How are you alive? Why don't you die? So you don't. Okay, maybe you do want to push. Well, maybe you don't want to push because it's all mountains, right? I don't want you to go anywhere. You just stay there and defend. Uh, attack! Attack the cavalry in the mountains. And let's do this because I don't even know what it is. Defense plus twenty percent. Seriously, sounds like a lot to me. I don't know how it works. Hold out, because that's their capital city. Somewhere in there. In the rocks. Oh, you'd think that'd be a city texture or something. I mean, something. Right. Well, there's a factory, but it's in the next province over. Wait. No, it's the same state, I suppose. Okay. Well. Whatever. Whatever. Oh yes, go 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 go! Keep pushing! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, take over this! Pro no, go here! Go here! Don't get surrounded. Am I still? No, I'm not producing. I have 22 artillery units. What? Why are they not being used? Such a waste. Here's another of the war events, radio address. Every evening people gather around their radios in the hopes of hearing the latest news on the war. Never before have people had the voice of their leader in their very own living rooms, but now things are different and the need could never be greater. The government and the people are finally one. What should the uh, people be told? That survival depends on our unfaltering resistance, which gives me a free 5% national unity forever. 15,000 manpower, hello, you, and all political power boost because victory is inevitable. Uh, hmm. See, I either want unity or manpower. I'm going to do. I'm going to say manpower because, you know, let's not play it safe. I'm never going to be invaded. I don't need unity. Um, we can be as ununified as possible, and we'd never, we'd never lose. That's the goal. Indoctrination, yes. So much political power from this this tree, like crazy. Communism's the best. Never, never realised. What does that give me? <laughs> Division recovery rate and some extra communist support. Not that I need it. Play the power. Cool. I'm going to go down doctrine. Now oh, we're so communist. It hurts. 
Now I'm going to... I have 72. That's cool. Oh, because of indoctrination. Nice. Now I'm going to go down. Now I'm going to go down. Militarize, please. Do I need it? I just... I like it now. Now that I've added uh, positive political power gain, I just like having it. Because it just makes you stronger, but then it does have the national unity downside, so... It's not like totally, you know, crazy overpowered or whatever. Um, that might be, but it doesn't feel like it. To me, just on 36%. Oh my god, world tension's going down. You know, no one cares about China, right? It's just been increasingly becoming Japan, but that's okay. I say, give me entrenchment. Why not? And it's generally shit. I need some better artillery. Oh shit. Hello, just in time. That's amazing. Yes. And it. Oh my god, that's cool. Yes. Perfect. Everything worked out exactly as planned. <laughs> yes. Available war goal runs out in March. I'll get there in time, right? Our trains aren't that bad. Although, they probably should be in the mountains. Mountains of, of Afghanistan in 1939. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, this is so good. Please don't join the Axis when I declare war on you and destroy you. Please. Please. I'm giving you labor programs, dude. You've got nothing. State education, what the hell? That's a joke. Fascism. Try your worst. There we go, War of Aggression ends, which means, sadly, I lose the uh, bonus to manpower, and I will have to silence them again if I start uh, another war, which one way to avoid that is to is for me to have declared this war um, before the other one ended, um, but, uh, you know, that would be cheating. Do 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 do. Let's draw some lines on the ground and declare war. This is going to be good. Okay, what what am I called anyway? Iranian Communist Authority. Right. That doesn't sound very friendly, actually. I think uh, I think it needs to be. I think we could work on the name a bit. But boom! Don't join the Axis. Oh fuck! <laughs> I think they just did. Six. Oh, you stupid bastard. <laughs> well, Germany might not join because they don't. Surely they don't give a fuck about, about this, right? They don't always join, so. Please don't join. God, don't join. No, I'm not going to join because they might join. If I join, everyone will start joining. Joining. Nobody likes joining. Oh god. Come on. What do I need? What do I want? It's 939 and I want some factories outputs. Zzz. What's my uh, resources like? Do I, do I make steel or not? Resources. No, I just have oil. Presumably being pumped through wooden tubes out of the ground because we don't have steel I don't know, I don't even know what material <laughs> they, they make those things out of but it's probably not wood okay, come on just, you need to get there if the axe is joined before we get there you're fucked mate don't care how communist we are you're not getting your rations today Come on! Come on! I mean, they probably won't even capitulate immediately because they have 80%. They haven't got defenders as a thingy yet, though. Go. Are you going? It's go time. Come on. God, God we're slamming these guys. Crushing. These Iraqis, <laughs> what are they made of? Probably not. Hello. 
Now I'm a fucking aggressor. Damn, damn, you're to hell. Which means they haven't, they still haven't yet got the bonus. Oh, they've got our nation under attack. Yeah, they have got it already. Okay. Balls. No, 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 don't go there. You silly person. Silly person. Yep, keep going, just take everything. Keep going. Go into Baghdad, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm so afraid that the Germans join. And, and, bloody hell. Ecuadorian authority. Okay, civil war in South America. Nothing new there, but um, history repeats itself. Why didn't they fall? I took in everything. They have nothing. Oh, they have uh, Al Hajara. I'm sure Al's a great guy, but I'm gonna have to uh, capture him. I'm afraid. Let's. No, we don't. We don't need oil to be fair. So let's not increase our output of resources. Unless people are buying oil from me, maybe they are. I have, I have no idea. I'm just the leader of this country. Oh my God! Look at all the factories. What the hell? Am I exporting anything? No, I'm not. But I, I'm exporting 50 oil. Wow. Okay. So how many? Uh, how many factories do I get from that? From exports, four factories. All right. Well, do I have limited? I have export focus, free trade. Would that be good? Should I do that? I could do that, man. Let's do it. I never, I barely ever change these things. But since I don't use oil, um, that sounds like a fantastic idea. So now I'm getting four factories. Yay! Still. Come on. Buy my oil. Oh, well, I guess they're just. I don't know, getting the same amount. Well, let's get some more steel. Because at those prices, it's a steal. Yep. No, don't do infinite thingies. That's crazy talk. Just give me these men, I don't care. They'll learn, really, right? You learn best by doing, so... You go here. And why would you stand there? You... Attack. Are these Soviets still not doing anything? Are they just standing here? Like, what? I, just, I thought I had six divisions. Of the finest Soviet troops. And there. And it's me doing all the bloody work. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter at this point. Let's just take that. It's gonna be over any second. I bloody swear. Any second now. Oh, ho, ho, nice surround. That was totally intentional. Actually, it was. It just uh, took forever. Because we don't have trucks like these guys. It took me weeks to walk that desert, and they're driving around in really uh, rather handsome-looking uh, vehicles there. Nice, come on! Take this land for me. Why are they not capitulating? This is insane. And they haven't. Oh, the Axis haven't joined. I mean, the uh, Nazis haven't joined. The Germans, whatever, whatever. All of the above have yet to join the war. Of the fuck. They're not mages, right? Nah, hungry, who cares about hungry, right? Just fucking collapse already. Stupid. <laughs> Iraq. Come on, seriously, you have nothing of value. All hope is lost. Can I just, like, speak that through loudspeakers at them? Let me have a... What do I want? Yeah, I want... Fact do I want factories? Who needs factories, right? When you've got political power. Good lord man. Good god man. Come on, they're all they're all 
dying of starvation. Too bloody slowly. There we go. Got loads of steel. Just enough. Just enough. Just the right amount of steel. Do I have? I have 113 artillery pieces. Because we're, we're a huge army. Okay. Go on. Just crush them. Crush them. Crush them now. No, yes. Not me. <laughs> Not involving me. Lots of civil wars. Maybe too many. Battle. Oh, okay. We got. So this is a. Doesn't matter because we're going to win, right? But uh, this is an increase in the uh, the level of anti-war protesting. And I like writing some of these. Like, why aren't they at work? As as a response. Stop this treason! If they want an end to war, they can end it themselves. Blah blah blah. Well, we don't need them. Come on. Wow, they're actually holding out with one province. On. That's me. Oh, they've got 90% now. They have, yeah. Damn. Well, damn. Come on. Come on. Germany's not going to protect you, mate. Doesn't matter how long you hold out. They're not going to care. Are you shitting me? No, that bloody hell! I thought that I thought it was like no. You need to take out Hungary. Oh, let's just take a boat to Hungary then. Oh wait, um, let's take it all, please. Let's take all, take all states. One point two percent. I love it. One point two percent. Okay, wow, that gave me nothing. Apparently, it gave me literally nothing. Um, so, who hates me? If anything, I brought peace to the world, you know, by ending the war that I started. Uh, I mean, at this rate, oh no, well, no, World War is going to start at some point, isn't it? But I was thinking the Japanese are going to have China before the uh, war started. Reassert Eastern claims. I mean, this is uh, this is going well. Commonwealth ties. Are they in the Axis yet? Italy? No. <laughs> Czechoslovakia slotting right in there, aren't they? Republic of Turkey. So I'm surrounded by. Democracy, democracies. I mean, they might not turn in time, but that would be a, a risk. The Omani Empire. I mean, I could do that, but I have ten convoys. Uh, nothing to protect them, so... Hey, man, this is cool. Look at this. Iranian Communist Authority. Pretty damn big. And if I do end up joining the Comintern, which I will as soon as I get <laughs> into a big war, I'll, I'll scream for help. Um... Then I'm a nice uh, addition, I think. Nice southern uh, front here. Although I will be, I will be completely surrounded by allies, because Turkey is is democratic. Saudi Arabia is going democratic. I will be entirely surrounded by allies. Um, and actually, I'm going to end the first video here because uh, I need a I need the loo, and. Uh, this has been going on for a while, and I don't know where I'm going to cut the videos because I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, we've reached a nice uh, juncture here. Um, this is actually interesting to me because uh, I've obviously played probably more games than you have on this uh, version of the mod, and uh, usually I haven't seen the allies get you know this secure, uh, and that's really cool because the allies tend to tend to lose or you know not do particularly well. So. This is cool. There's a chance that the Kiwis will gain their freedom. Probably not, I guess. I don't know. I can't tell, I don't think. I don't know if there's a way for me to check. Oh, they need a lot of points. So they're probably not, but they are fascists, which is, yeah, it's good enough. South Africa. 
closer, but uh, not quite. I was going to say no cigar, but he literally, I was hoping he'd have a cigar in his mouth, but he didn't. Um, oh, Argentina going democratic. So we have the Chilean socialist. That is a cool flag. I like it a lot. Second Brazilian Republic, uh, forged in the fires of war, apparently. Um, I mean, it'll be cool if they win. Um, and we have a bunch of fascists down here, so South America is going to be interesting. It would be cool if I could uh, somehow help these guys, um, our uh, brothers down here. And we have uh, Democratic Mexico, so it looks like this and a potentially, potentially fascist United States, which the, now that would be interesting because we have a pretty, what looks to be anyway, a pretty solid uh, allies here, at least in my, my region. Um, although, you know, the Axis always uh, mess up France, so never quite uh, strong as it looks. But uh, although we have uh, lots of democracies up here, so who knows? They could, oh wow, Finland, hello. So they've gone communist. What about these guys? Hey, okay, so we could have uh, these guys joining the... Uh, well, except for Lithuania, they're boring. But uh, the other guys could join the... Uh, end up joining the USSR. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop here, like I said, and upload this video. And uh, yeah, so remember this is uh, Hearts and Minds. New version of the mod 1.7 is out with these kinds of AI shit happening that's hopefully more interesting than the original game. Uh, if slightly less historical. Um, but historical mode on should uh, maintain the uh, balance of the game a little more. Um, and it's obviously always a work in progress. So if you're interested, uh, I will put a link down below for the Steam Workshop for the mod, uh, and you can grab it there and uh, play it if you want. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and join me next time for the continuation of communist Iran.